The reality is, education is changing constantly. Tools have to be more collaborative and lessons have to be more engaging. And that is exactly what Notebook 11 is delivering in the classroom. We've been listening to educators for more than 15 years. And Notebook 11 was about listening to these people and getting their feedback so that the expert user can take it to the next level. They can be more creative. At the same time, we also wanted to listen to people who are saying, I'm going to have someone who's going to use this for the first time. In a teaching capacity, it keeps the students engaged in one activity, in one application. Well, the embedded web browser is an object in Notebook 11, so that means I can change the characteristics of that website. If there was an image in that website that I wanted to drag to my Notebook page, it literally would be one touch and pull it into the Notebook page. Notebook 11 is flexible enough for teachers to create the learning environments they need when they need it. I think a, a good example of what makes Notebook 11 more powerful is the activity builder. It gives the teacher the flexibility to create their own activities. In the past, a lot of these had to be created ahead of time. They had to be created in Flash or they had to be um, brought in from another website. But with the activity builder, it puts that power into the hands of the teacher. The biggest challenge for educators today is time. Time is everything. Now we have the ability to record and assign audio to individual objects all directly within Notebook. Well, learning is a personal experience, and so any way that you can be creative on your own and any way that you can actually personalize that experience makes it more meaningful. Well, I think a good example of being more creative in Notebook 11 is the crayon tool. When you bring the kids to the board and it actually looks like and it feels like crayon, it's really an exciting moment for the students. We've introduced something called the Software Developers Toolkit, or the SDK. It means that we're going to be able to create things like widgets that will be able to exist right in Notebook. Adding a widget will be as simple as adding an app to a smartphone. The ability for me to go out and find widgets specifically for my classroom, for my students, that's exactly what the Notebook platform is all about. I'm really looking forward to seeing what teachers are going to do next. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to transform the classroom with Notebook 11 in their hands.